Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time because it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. You'll notice I have set up the big top, the Stargazer tent. We looked at that last week. And if you will recall, if you didn't watch last week, you need to go back and watch last week. Click on subscribe if you like this kind of content, by the way. I'm always selling something. <laughs> I'm always talking about something you can buy. So when I set this up last week in the high winds, I realized there were, there were two things. Like, so there were three things I didn't like about it. And there were two of those things that I could probably resolve. So that's what today's episode is kind of about. We're going to talk about a couple of, of products for, for improving wind durability. The first thing that I realized, let, let's talk about tent stakes. Because last week, it really, it really became clear that when you have a tent of this magnitude, you need a good foundation. And what they provided was, was pretty good. Uh, it's, it's way better than, you know, one of these that you typically, actually you, you usually get the much smaller if you're getting like a canvas tent. These are pretty good, except when the wind is popping on those ropes, these, these get loose and they pull out and they turn and the rope comes off and then you lose your tautness There's one of and, and you lose the tautness of the fabric one of, one of the things that set the bell tents apart from other tents is you can get them real tight here like this one you remember that that's my little little tent and you get you get that fabric tight and the wind just blows around it instead of hitting it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Better get my camera level again. So when you have the fabric tight, the wind just moves around the, the, the cone shape. It, it doesn't pop. When you can't get the ropes real tight or when your, your spikes are not holding, the ropes get loose, you lose your tautness, everything starts popping. Now I carry a set of these in the, the F-150 just in case and they're better, but they're, they're not much different. They're a little, little bit longer, got a little bit bigger head so you don't have to worry about the rope slipping off. But ultimately, for something that big, you, you need you need you, you need to go big. So, if you'll recall, several weeks ago when I was visiting Galveston Island State Park, I broke a toe setting up the the little bell tent in the in a storm. I dropped two different things on my toe. I'm, I'm going somewhere with this, by the way. So I got this, I got on, on Amazon after that, and I, and I jumped on Amazon and I went and found what I needed. And what I needed was what, one of the things I dropped on my toe setting up in the storm, and that was a spike. That's 12 inches. It, when you drive it down, it locks into the ground. This set is a set of eight. It comes in a very stylish velvet, velvet for, <laughs> in a velvet bag. It also includes some little paracord, reflective paracord, I might add. But that's, that's really too small for what we're doing here. Eight of them. Is it eight? I think it's eight. So two, four, six. Yes, yeah, so it's a set of eight. So if we compare this 
to this you can see we get substantially more surface area and it also goes a little bit deeper and these don't bend unless you're trying to drive them into concrete they don't bend i've got two of these that are already bent just from driving them in the ground at mom's house so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go drive some stakes these are awesome i'll let you watch me you got nothing better to do what would make these even better is if I found some carabiners to go on here. That would be even better because right now it's not perfect. very sturdy there's one more thing that was giving me trouble when the wind was blowing and that's and that's this panel right here you notice there's there's no tension it's not very taut there needs to be a, a rope there and I think there needs to be another one on the front putting but I don't want to poke holes in it. I don't want to poke holes in the tent. So I got to looking around and I found this. This is a cool set. It's a heavy duty bungee cord, but it's actually not a bungee cord. It's with a nice bag. So no pro, they didn't sponsor this. Comes with a whole bunch of tarp bungees. I'm gonna be using that on this project. But this, this is what I was after right here. So let's, let's move over here and look. So if we wanna put some tension here to get that tight, we need a rope right here. So what this does is it allows us to slip that in. And lock it. And now we can get a little extra tension on there. But we need, we need a rope. I'll be back. So I have a, a rope on there now. I got I got a total of four ropes because we're gonna we're gonna need four ropes. Let me go ahead and rig up the other ones, and I'll show you how this is gonna play out. Ah! We're nice and we're we're tighter than we were. Now we just need some more wind. We need a little wind storm. More to come. So this edition of Friday's Finds does have a sponsored product. The Amazon store, Hi Na, has sent us a box 
Let's open her up and see what's in this box. I think I have an eye. I got a clue. You're gonna like it. We're gonna have fun with this one. One of my favorite kind of boxes to open. Very well packaged. Ah, instruction manual. This is actually a wood burning stove. pieces and parts that goes on there like that we have some legs Some assembly required. Don't want that in there. Self-evident. Kind of interesting, a square clue. And that first piece that we took out, it is intended to go stove makeup there. Now we gotta figure out. Okay, so we have a knob that goes on the front. We have a plate. Where does this plate go? I guess we better look at the instructions. So I have the Hana Kemp stove. The Hana wood burning stove is hot. We're actually getting a thousand degrees right there on top of the, the stack. And right now we're about 700 degrees, six to 700 degrees right here on top of the, that plate. One thing of note, uh, I put a cookie sheet down here to kind of protect that, but this cookie sheet is now at about 300 degrees. So there's a lot of radiant heat coming out of the bottom of that. That's great for cooking on. 
not going to be putting that in a tent unless you can find it's, it's just too porous and that's square so finding a, an adapter and making it this just won't work for going in a tent but it is certainly it didn't take a whole lot of wood to get this thing hot hot enough to cook on so i actually took a two different pieces of firewood and cut them in half and split them all up and i've only used a probably half of one of those so i had i had two pieces of firewood about that long cut in half and then split down you you don't have to worry about having propane to be able to cook you can scavenge enough wood to cook on this just about anywhere you're allowed to harvest wood deadfall would work great it's about as compact as a propane fired camp stove you've got two cooking surfaces so yeah i think this is a handy little device it all folds up and packs inside of the stove so you just really have that one square thing to pack rectangle thing cubic thing yeah this this is a cool little device I have something else to play with. I'll be back. Finally, the sun has come out. No, no, hardly any flapping at all. So those, those modifications have greatly improved this tent performance, but we're not done yet. did some more research and I found these oh I gotta get it came in these little plastic box remember I said now I can talk to the camera so I did a, did a lot of a lot of carabiner research remember I said I needed some carabiners they're very very well secured so after a lot of research I found I found these these are from Sprukber Sprukber they're stainless steel while I was looking at carabiners I was thinking about how much stress I don't have any way of measuring the stress on those ropes when the wind is really blowing but I don't want to take any chances with soft easy to bend aluminum so I, I looked for some stainless steel and i found these great pack they come in what like eight to a package yeah so there's eight of these in a package which means i need two packages and what that's going to allow me to do So my spike has got the hole. So now, put that back in the ground. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now the rope is protected. And it makes it much easier to set up. As long as the grass isn't in the way. There you go. We now have a, a better stargazer tent. I'm very pleased with my three little investments i just got to figure out that crossbar thing anyway we're done with this edition of friday's finds all of these products are available on amazon i'll provide a link in the cards as well as in the description below the link will take you to a shopping list the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv gear recommendation amazon page there we go. Got it out. If you enjoy this kind of content, 
I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. I appreciate that. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear? I gotta go enjoy some sunshine. We haven't had it in days.